Your company rewards a bonus of 2% to clients whose sales lie above the average, which can be credited at the next order. Because sales figures, and thus also bonus credits, regularly change, you would like to use the IF function to calculate whether a client should receive a bonus or not. In this learning module, you will learn how to use the IF function and what you need to consider when doing this. To calculate the content of a cell that is dependent on a certain condition, you can use the IF function in the logical category. These cells will report whether a client should receive a bonus or not. To perform the calculation, first click in the cell in which the result should appear. Then start the function wizard by clicking on this button. Select the function that you want to insert in the Insert Function dialog box now open. You will find the IF function in the Logical category. First, click on this arrow button and select Logical from the drop-down list now expanded. All functions in this category are now displayed. Double-click on IF to select this function. The IF function makes the content of the cell in which it is entered dependent on a condition specified in the function. It requires three arguments in total. The logical test argument is the condition that is being checked and which will return the value true or false. The value if true argument indicates the result in the cell when the condition is met, that is, when it is true. The value if false argument indicates the result if the condition is not met, that is, when it is false. You now want to check if the sales volume of each client is above average. To do this, first click in cell E4 to apply this reference to the logical test argument. Then enter the greater than character using the keyboard. This determines the type of comparison. Now click in cell E17 to perform a comparison with the calculated average total sales volume of all vendors. Because you want to copy the function to additional cells, you should define E17 as the absolute reference. To do this, press F4. In doing this, you have completed defining the condition. Next. Click in the value if true input field to specify the result when the test returns the value true. Here, enter yes. And then go to the value if false input field and enter no. Make sure you use the quotation marks when you enter these arguments, otherwise Excel will not recognize the entries as text and thus not return the correct value. Click OK to confirm your entries. Copy the function to the cells below. As you can see, it is now indicated for every client whether a bonus should be credited or not.